Well, 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 what do we have here? Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel once again. Uh, so I actually have a new addition to the new off-grid home. Um, what you guys are looking at right here basically are some um, old um, hot water heating panels for um, your like your um, your hot water heater. You have a tank or whatever it is. Um, this helps to heat that water up. Uh, so if you guys have been following my channel, I built a DC hot water heater, um, not element, uh, DC hot water heater, um, hot water, yeah, hot water heater, and it works off of my dump load, right? And it's been working great. Um, but I, I've been looking around for some used panels or new panels or whatever, right? And I actually came across these panels. We actually have four of them. I got four of these. There's two. There's one on the bottom. There's one here. Um, we were looking around, looking around, and we finally found some old ones that some, some um, they were doing a remodel on a project, and they're just basically just going to toss these out and throw them away and put new ones on because they're just remodeling the whole place, right? So they've been sitting on the property forever, and I think it was getting to the point where maybe they were going to just throw them away because they had no use for them. As far as they know, no one else wanted them, right? But I've been looking for these for, for a while now. Ever since I started my project with the DC hot water heater, um, I've been looking for these for panels, okay? And I was debating if I was going to buy new panels. And I told myself, you know what? If I can look around and find free old panels that I can refurbish and use, there's no need for me to buy a brand new, right? Because I believe for each panel, just one of these panels, guys, it's like 600 bucks or more just for the panel itself, right? So, I mean, that that's a big cost. That's like 1200 bucks or more sitting right here if I went to go and buy brand new ones, right? The, the, the pros with that is if I was to buy brand new, it's brand new. There's no work involved besides you setting it up, installing it, and hooking up all your water lines and all that good stuff, right? Um, but the problem is you're spending over $1,200 or more to buy these damn things. So, um, I was lucky enough to be able to come across four of these. Um, so, what I did was I actually... Um, gave my brother well me and my brother we basically split them because uh, um, we both kind of spotted them at the same times and all that but i got the jump start on it on in inquiring them and got them you know what i mean um, but since we used his truck to pick them up and he he wanted some panels um it's only fair that we split up what we had right so since there was four panels um he took four pan i mean two panels away i have two panels here and his two panels are in the exact same shape as mine because they were in the same installation removed the same time and all of that so here they are um these are water heating um panels as you guys can see they are used right but that's okay because let me sh um explain to you guys my game plan here guys it's going to be a very interesting project okay what i'm going to do guys as you guys can see there's some calcium build up on top of the this is on top of the glass not underneath the glass on top so i took my little um brillo pad and started um, just you know use some water and start scrubbing away and it starts cleaning up really nice but there's still some stuff underneath because this is an old panel guys right these are really old panels but they still work that's the main thing but what i'm going to do guys is for the for one of my projects here i'm actually going to disassemble each of these panels completely disassemble them clean everything up make it look like brand new again guys you know if i gotta um clean up and sand or paint or whatever has to be done to make these things um look nice again look brand new again and functional that's what i'm going to do so this is the game plan guys um this is what i'm going to be hooking up in tandem with my dc hot water heater um tank and um i should absolutely this is going to guarantee boost me up big time in the hot water i'm having right and um it's going to it's going to allow my um system that i have now to kind of work a little bit less not as hard to uh, maintain the temperature and, and keep it going right it's considering the sun is out right all the time most of the time unless, unless it's like today where it's kind of cloudy um you know these are going to be very valuable in the new house so once i tear them all apart because what I, what I really need to do guys is i have to disassemble this remove this glass 
take the glass out, scrub the glass down, clean the glass, prep the glass, make sure the glass is all nice and clean, set that aside. And um, they actually, since this is really old panels, guys, they had some old epoxy here and here, you know, all the way around the frame. And it looks like water has gotten in between the frame and the inside of the panel. As you guys can see inside of here, we have like um, calcium built up on that side. Okay. And so basically the idea is just to remove the glass, um, remove the metal sheeting that's covering the actual copper um, tubing that's in here clean that the metal up or the aluminum or whatever they're using in here to go around over the the copper tubes clean that up make sure that's all in good shape paint it again because uh, it was it is black but you know over time it's kind of gone down a little bit as far as um quality is concerned so i'm going to go ahead and um you know clean that all up make sure that's all good i'm going to inspect the tubing i'm going to do a pressure test on the system hopefully and um you know because on these panels right here there's actually a service tag guys um, these are sun panels, um, L, it's kind of hard to see, LDF, solar energy systems. So these are some old panels. Maximum pressure, 200 PSI. Maximum temperature, 400 uh, um, degrees Fahrenheit. So we're not going to even be close to 200 PSI, and we're not going to even be close to 400 um degrees fahrenheit so we're going to be well way, way below that so we're not going to have to worry about the ratings as far as that's concerned but as long as i don't over exceed the 200 psi so basically i'm just going to do a pressure test up to say because your normal household pressure will be 50 to 60 psi coming through your tap right that's what it's regulate regulated at unless you've put your own regulator on and you've upped it or you know brought it down a bit whatever but the most common is 50 to 60 so i'm going to bring i'm going to test these panels i'm going to pressure test them at say 60 to 70 um, or maybe even 80 because i'm still way below the rating on these right pressure test them and if i do have a leak or uh, anything like that guys because it's copper tubing in here you can easily fix the top the copper tubing by just adding some solder in, in some joints or wherever it's leaking you can easily add some quick solder to it and it's going to fix it right away so um, some old panels that people didn't want are definitely going to be turned into some brand new panels, guys. Because when I get done tearing this apart and putting it all back together, guys, this is going to be very neat and very nice.